why do I use the violin on stage? Aside from the fact that it's just really cool, it does a couple of things. So first and foremost, it is kind of this amazing cheat code to make sure that whatever I'm talking about is one of the most memorable moments for the entire event. Uh, it can either serve as a really great opener to make sure people want to show up on time, or it can serve as a really great closer to keep people engaged. And additionally, because of the nature of the violin, it actually makes for a really great closing keynote because it can tie everything together, but it also kind of gives the brain a break from having to think. It lets different pieces of the brain light up and relax, which allows the brain to process through more of what they're trying to learn. Secondly, using the violin allows me to take a concept that is maybe really complex or it's something we already know, but it allows me to present it in a way that shifts how we're approaching it, how we're trying to apply it in our lives or in our business, and makes it relatable, makes it make sense in a way that maybe it didn't before. For example, I can play the same song two different ways and change the impact that it makes. Or, Which one of those made a bigger impact? The second one, right? I can play like a robot or I can add emotion and it changes everything. And when I show people this, it changes how we approach our leadership styles. It changes how we approach our marketing. It changes how we approach sales. When we understand the difference that knowing and purposefully infusing emotion makes in each of those areas. Shifting allows me to solve problems that I didn't have the tools to solve before. And when you have something really cool, when you have something powerful and you have the right spark, you literally create magic. You're doing well. You don't need to change everything. We just need to find the little shifts and figure out when to make them.